Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. And hey, I got another payoff pitch for you. It's Sportsman Z here with some payoff pitch. Now, you can see the setup is kind of uh, crowded. Um, I've heard that you guys like to see the cards and you uh, like to see the dice rolls and you like to see pretty much everything. So this is the best I can do to get everything in the scene. I will put the cards up in the camera as the players come up. Um, you can see right here we have Steve Stone's card pitching for um, the... Uh, let me see if I can kind of get hit the card in there better. Okay, so you got Steve Stone's card. He's pitching for the Orioles today. And you have uh, Francisco Barrios up there. And he is pitching for... My 1979 White Sox, this is my 1970 White Sox game. We're around game 60 right now. I'm not sure exactly which uh, game this is, but it is around 60. Um, and we are playing the Baltimore Orioles at home. So you see we've got the Comiskey Park card out here. And... Um, with the, all of that having been said, we are going to get on with the game. Now, I don't have a scoreboard, so um, you know maybe I'll put it up in the uh, in the editing um, after each inning what the score is. But there's you know really only so much you can get into these uh, into the um, screen here. So with that, we're going to start the game. Um, the Orioles are up first, and the first batter is Al Bumbry. So here's his card, and we are going to roll the dice. I am going to use a combination of the dice and the cards. Um, and that is a 12 and a 63. So a 12 on um, a 12 on Barrios is wheelhouse. And as you can see, a 63 against a righty is going to be an out, and it is going to be an F7. So Al Bumbry flies out to left field, and there is one down, and the next batter is Ken Singleton. And Ken Singleton today is playing left field. And he gets an 11 and a 51, and an 11 on Barrios is in play and an in play 51 against a righty is going to be an out and it is a G5 and he goes five to three. So there's two down. We're moving right along and the next batter is Pat Kelly of the Orioles. Today Pat Kelly is playing right field and he gets a nine and a two. So a nine on Barrios's card is a patient and a two is going to be a walk for Pat Kelly. And we just knocked over a token. So Pat Kelly gets aboard with a walk and Barrios gives up a walk. And the next batter is Eddie Murray, the first baseman. And he gets a uh, zero. That's going to be a zero. So a zero reading with a man on. We're going to roll the dice and see what happens with this. And that is a nine. And a nine with a runner on base is pitcher develops minor injury and must be removed from the game. And the relief pitcher misses the next two games. Starting pitcher must rest for four days. So uh, we have an injury to Barrios. Who ends up only pitching um, two-thirds of an inning. Okay, the new pitcher for the White Sox is Randy Scarberry. There is his card right there. Um, he is a long reliever, so he should be fine uh, in this role. I was... Uh, the better pitcher, in my opinion, is probably uh, Proley, but Mike Proley pitched uh, three innings or three and a third innings last the previous game. So he would not be, I would consider him not eligible for this particular game. So we will get on with it. Um, we will actually re-roll for, um, for Eddie Murray. And that is an 8 and a 28. So an 8 is um, on Scarberry is an in play and a 28 
for in play against now a right-hander is going to be a single and we will pick the card to see what the single is going to be and again I can't get everything on on camera so you're just gonna have to trust me on the card reading and the single says ball blooped into right field runner on first advances one base runner on second scores so we have two runners on um, Kelly goes to second that is a base hit. Scarberry gives up the hit. And that brings to the plate um, Terry Crowley, who, um, as you can see, uh, was, well, I mean, he's not bad against righties, but he hit a 1,000 against lefties. Anyway, he is in there, and he will be batting now. And um, that is a 7 on Scarberry, which is tough. And a three on Crowley so that is probably going to be a strikeout and it indeed it wow look at that tough it says 106 and then 107 to 12 I don't think that really is on the scale but anyway it's a safe bet that he strikes out because everybody strikes out on that and so we are out of the inning and there, the strikeout for um, Scarberry. Got to believe that was a misprint there on Crowley's card. So that brings to the plate the White Sox. And the first three batters will be Ralph Gar, the left fielder, Claude L. Washington, the right fielder, and Chet Lemon, the center fielder. So the entire outfield is going to be batting here against Steve Stone, who is currently, as I know very well, the announcer, one of the announcers for the Chicago White Sox. And that is an 8 and a 76. So an 8 on Steve Stone is, and again, let's try to get this down into the, is a patient. And a 76 will be, as you can see, um, an out, and it is an F8. So Gar is out. And that brings Claude L. Washington to the plate. And he gets a 7 and a 16. So a 7 on Steve Stone is a tough. And a 16 is going to be a strikeout. So Stone with the K, Stoney with the K. And uh, that's two down. And... Chet Lemon is up. Chet Lemon gets a 9 and a 47. So a 9 um, on uh, Steve Stone is an in play, and a 47 against a righty is going to be an out, and it is going to be a G1. So he goes one, Lemon goes 1 to 3. And the White Sox are out of the first. We go to the top of the second. Doug DeSensei is up against Scarberry, who's going to have to probably go four here if he can. That is a seven. Seven and a 36. Seven on Scarberry is tough. And a 36 and tough against a righty is going to be a strikeout. So DeSensei strikes out, and that is the second strikeout for Scarberry on the game, and uh, that brings to the plate Rick Dempsey, the catcher for the Orioles. And he gets an 8 and a 78. 8 is on uh, Scarberry's card is an in play, and a 78 is going to be an F8. So Dempsey is out, and that brings the second baseman, Rich Dower, up. And that's going to be a 4 and a 7. 4 is a ballpark, and... Um, uh, seven is going to be a wheelhouse, potential wheelhouse. So we will uh, roll again for Rich Dower's wheelhouse against a righty. And that is a 56. And you can see against a righty, 56 on wheelhouse is going to be an out and it's going to be an F9. 
So he is out and uh, that retires the Orioles in the second. We go to the bottom of the second and Lamar Johnson, the first baseman for the Orioles, will be up at the plate against Steve Stone in the second inning. That is a 10 and a 72. So a 10 on uh, Steve Stone's card is a tough and a 72 you can see is going to be off the card. You can see that, and uh, it's going to be a four, G4. So it's going to be a four to three. Lamar Johnson out. Morrison comes up. And that's going to be a nine and a 23. Nine on Steve Stone is in play, and a 23 against a righty is going to be a single. So Morrison is aboard with a hit. Stone gives up the hit. And that's the first hit allowed by Steve Stone in the game. And George Orta is up with a man down and a man first for the White Sox. And that is a 5 and a 54. 5 is a ballpark and a 54 for a lefty is going to be just out of the wheelhouse range. It's actually going to be an in play. We roll for the in play and it's a 68 and you can see on uh, 68 in play it's going to be a G6. We roll for the double play. He is a double play 6 and you can see that Steve Stone is a double play 8. And that is a 5 so it is going to be a double play. And that will also end the inning. The twin killing does, and the White Sox come away with nothing there. And we go to the top of the third inning. Mark Belanger is up. Belanger gets a 6 and a 53. A 6 on Scarberry is an in play, and a 53, you can see, is going against a righty, is going to be an out, and it's going to be an F9. So F9 for the shortstop. Belanger brings us back to the top of the order. And Al Bumbry here in the third. With one down, nobody on. And that is a 6 and a 31. 6 on Scarberry is an in play. And a 31 against a righty is just off the card. And it ends up being a pop out to the second baseman. And with two down, Ken Singleton is up. He is playing right left field today. And that is going to be an eight and a 60, or an eight and a 96. So an eight on Scarberry is an in play. And you can see a 96 is going to be an out, and it is an F7. And so the Orioles go down in the third. We go to the bottom of the third of a scoreless game here in the 60th game of the season for the 1979 White Sox. Greg Pryor, the shortstop, is up. He gets a 7 and a 49. 7 on Steve Stone is a tough, and a tough 49 is going to be off of, it's going to be out of his tough range and into the outs, and that is a G5, and he goes 5 to 3. Next batter is Milt May, the catcher for the White Sox. And he gets a 2 and an 81. 2 is a defense, so we're going to pick the card. And it's going to be a possible error at third base, although I can tell you that's going to be an out at 81, probably. He is an error 4 and an error 4 on the, um, on the ballpark card. Um, is 1 to 34 would be an error, but 35 to 99 is an out, and that was an 81, so it is an out. So he goes 5 to 3 as well. First two guys thrown out by uh, DeSense, and that brings um, Don Kessinger up. Don Kessinger started the 1979 season as the manager of the White Sox. But was relieved later on, probably I think in June, by uh, Tony La Russa. That is a 5 and an 80 on Stone. So a 5 is a ballpark, 
and an 80 is going to be um, in the base hit range, the uh, in play. And uh, the in play is a 9, so you can see um, in play 9 against a righty is going to be a double. So we got a double by Kessinger, man at second with two down. And only the second hit allowed by Steve Stone. Ralph Gar is the batter. Ralph Gar gets a 6 and a 65. 6 is a patient, and I've not gotten a lot of faith in that. No, it's a 56. It's off. It's in the out range. And it is an F7. So he goes F7. And no runs come in. In the third, we go to the top of the fourth. With Pat Kelly being the batter for the Orioles. I believe. Yes, he is. And we've got Scarberry rolling right along. 10 and a 42. A 10 on tough on, is a tough on Scarberry. And a 42 against a right-hander is going to be a strikeout. And I believe that's his first, no, it's his third strikeout. He is really throwing the gas today. As much as Randy Scarberry can throw the gas. And then Eddie Murray is up. He gets a 9 and a 27. 9 on Scarberry is a patient. And a 27 is going to be a walk. Murray takes the walk down to first base. There is a man aboard now. With uh, and that's only the second base runner, Scarberry's allowed one hit and one walk. And Terry Crowley is up, and he gets a six and an eight. A six on Scarberry's card is an in play, and an eight is going to be bad news. That's going to be a double. So let's see what kind of a double it is. It is a drive down the line, right field, left field, runners advance two bases. So we're going to put him over here now again. You know, he just know that he's on third base behind the thing. Here, let me see. I can put him over here. I suppose you can kind of see him. But again, it's hard to get all of this stuff into the, into the scene. Um, but Murray goes over to third and um, Crowley has a double. No run scores, but they do have runners at second and third with only one out. And um, Doug DeSensei up, and I'm not going to bring the infield in. Um, I just don't like doing that. It's a 7 and a 27. So a 7 on Scarberry is a tough, and you can see that is going to be a strikeout. So Scarberry bails me out a little bit there with a the strikeout, and now there's two down, and with his fourth strikeout, uh, since coming on in relief of the injured Barrios, um, he has been spectacular, and now you've got Dempsey. Out. And Dempsey gets a nine and a ninety and a, a sixty-seven, a nine and a sixty-seven. So a nine is going to be a patient, and a sixty-seven is going to be off the card for a righty and it will be an out and it's a g4 four to three so dempsey goes four three the orioles threaten a little bit there but they still come away with nothing and claude l washington will be up um for the uh for the white Sox. steve stone still out there and he's dealing and Washington gets a 5 and a 9. 5 is a ballpark. A 9 is going to be in the um, it's going to be in the wheelhouse range. And then it's an 87. And you can see an 87 is going to be an out. And it's going to be uh, 4 to 3. So Washington is out 4 to 3. And that brings up Chet Lund. Chester Lemon gets a 5 and a 65. 5 on um, Stone is a ballpark, but that's going to be a, an in-play. And an in-play 22, and you can see from the uh, card, an in-play 22 against a right-hander is going to be a single. So Lemon is aboard with one out. Stone giving up his third hit there. And... 
Lamar Johnson is up, the first baseman. He gets an 11 and a 2. An 11 is a ballpark, and a 2 is going to be in the um, wheelhouse range. And it is a 23, and you can see that a 23 is just out of the home run range, and it's into a double against a righty. So um, that is going to be um, at least second and third. Might have been a run score. We're going to check it on the double on the card. It says liner into left center, cut off by left field. All runners score, so that is an RBI. And um, Lemon does come home on that. Stone giving up his fourth hit and first run of the game for either team. And with Johnson at second, Morrison is the batter. And only one out here. And that is an 8 and an 81. 8 on Steve Stone is a patient and an 81 um, on patient against a righty, you can see, is going to be an out and it is an F8. So Morrison's out and Orta is up now, the second baseman. Or no, the DH. He's the DH. And that is a 10 and an 11. 10 on Stone is a tough. And an 11 is going to be um, a single. And we're going to see maybe a run scores on that. Line drive into the, or wait a minute, um, opposite field liner, right field, left field, runner on first, advances two bases, runner on second score. So they've got their second run of the game on an RBI single by George Orta. Fifth hit allowed by Stone, second run, and Pryor is up. Now the Orioles do have a rested bullpen, but they also have a good offense and they're only down by two. It's a six and a two. Six on Stone is a patient, and a two on patient, you got to believe, is a walk, and it is. So Pryor gets uh, on, and uh, Orta goes down to second, and... It looks like um, Stone is falling apart here. Milt May is the batter. Runners at first and second, only one out, I believe. Or is it two? No, it's two. And that is going to be a 9 and a 98. 9 and a 98 is going to be a 9 on Stone is an in play. And a 98 is going to be an out. And it's going to be an F9. And so only the two runs score for the White Sox, but that gives them a 2 nothing lead as we head to the top of the fifth. And there will be a pitching change. We are going to take Scarberry out. I think he's, I mean, he's pitched um, three and a third innings. So we're going to take him out after three and a third. The new pitcher is going to be Rich Hinton, and as you can see, and I've explained in an um, earlier video, um, Rich Hinton was the one guy that slipped through the cracks on me that I had kept on the team, even though he did not finish the, the year with the White Sox. But he was on the White Sox, as you can see, until July 1st, and so he will be under the rules that I'm going to play with using Hinton that he can stay on the roster and pitch until July 1st, and we are not at July 1st yet. So he will come in, um, in uh, with a two-run lead and uh, Rich Dower at the plate, the second baseman for the Orioles. I'll move this back again, try to get this in the scene. Again, it's tough to keep all these moving parts um, moving or, you know, uh, available to everyone. 11 and an 85. 11 on Hinton is a defense and an 85 is going to be um, um, an air, a possible air at first base. The first baseman is an E2 and you can see that is going to be an out. You look at the uh, 
you look at the air counter and uh, it only goes air only goes up to 67 and that was an 82 or an 85 so it isn't out so um, Dower is out six or uh, ground out to three to lead off the uh, fifth inning. Next batter is Belanger. Belanger gets a 10 and a 45. 10 on Hinton is an in play. And you can see a 45 against a lefty is going to be an out. It's off the, it's into the out range and it is going to be a G5 and it's going to be five to three. And up steps El Bumbry, the start of the order, the center fielder, and he gets a 10 and a 22. 10 is an in play and a 22 against a lefty is going to be a single. So Bumbry's aboard with a hit. And Ken Singleton comes up. And he gets a 5 and a 51. 5 on Hinton is a patient. And a 51 against a lefty is going to be a walk. So Singleton's aboard with a walk. That moves Bumbry down to second. Two outs, though. And Pat Kelly up. And that's going to be a 2 and a 95. 2 is a wheelhouse, and a 95, though, is going to be an out easily. And that is an F9. Pat Kelly goes out, F9. And that's the third and final out for the Orioles in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth with Kessinger uh, leading off. He's playing shortstop today. Or is it second base? I had him listed as a second base. Yeah, he's playing second base. Priors at short. So, um, put the counter back to zero. And Don Kessinger leading off. Stone is still out there. It's an 8 and a 43. 8 is a patient, and a 43 against a righty is going to be a single for Kessinger. And that's actually his second hit. He's 2 for 2 today. Sixth hit allowed by Stone. And Ralph Gara back to the top of the order. And that is a 4 and a 7. 4 is a wheelhouse. And a seven against a righty is going to be a home run for Ralph Gar. He hits a two-run home run. And now you got to believe that Weaver is about ready. He's probably seen enough of um, Stone for this game. As the White Sox take a uh, what looks to be now a commanding 4 nothing lead. And Claudel Washington up. And that is an 8 and a 15. 8 is a patient. And a 15 is going to be a walk. And he just keeps allowing people on base. And there will be some action now in the Orioles bullpen. Sammy Stewart is up in the Orioles' pen. No outs. Chet Lemon up. A man aboard. And a tiring, apparently, Steve Stone. And that is a 6 and a 17. 6 is a patient, and a 17 is going to be a walk. As you can see, Chet Lemon gets aboard. Now there's two guys on. That's the second walk allowed by Stone, and Lamar Johnson is up. The rolls are going the White Sox way right now. That's an 8 and an 80. So that's a patient um, on Stone's card, and an 80, you can see, it is an out. And it is an F8, so that's the first out of the inning. He flies out to center field. 
to bring up Morrison. And they will take Stone out of the game now and bring in Stewart. Stewart is ready. So um, Stone only goes four and two thirds, or four and a third. Is it four and a third? Four and a four and a third, yeah. Morrison with two runners on and only one out. Yes. And that is a four and a 56. Four is a tough and a 56, Sammy Stewart is a righty and a 56 is going to be a strikeout as you can see. So he strikes out Morrison. Stewart coming in, throwing the gas right off the bat. Had a game off last game because uh, that was a game that the Orioles won handily, 13 to five. And George Orta is up against him. And that's going to be a three and a 65. Three is an in play and a 65 against a righty is going to be an out. And it's going to be a G6 and it's going to be six to three. But the White Sox, they strike for two more here in the sixth. We go to the top of the, or in the fifth, and we go to the uh, top of the sixth. Eddie Murray will be the batter now. This is a pretty potent Orioles lineup. It can strike at any time. And Rich Hinton isn't exactly one of the greatest pitchers in the history of baseball. So we'll see what if the uh, Orioles can come back. You got a 7 and an 11. 7 on Hinton's card is a tough. And an 11 is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out Eddie Murray. Very good hitter. So very impressive there by Hinton to get him on strikes. And Terry Crowley comes up. He gets a 7 and a 95. 7 is a tough and a 95 against a lefty and you can see uh, it's all kind of uh, messed up but uh, a 95 is in his out range and I'm going to assume that he wouldn't get a base hit on a 95 so it's going to be an F9 Terry Crowley flies out F9 and that is two down with the sensei up at the plate the third baseman and he gets a 3 and a 78. 3 is a tough and a 78 against a lefty. And you can see that's into the out range. And it is an F8. So the Orioles get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the sixth. White Sox up 4 nothing. Greg Pryor, the shortstop, is up at the plate. Against the new Orioles pitcher, Sammy Stewart. Seven and a 91. Seven is a patient, and you can see 91 is in the out range for him, and it is going to be a uh, G6, six to three. Prior goes six, three. There's one down, and May, the catcher, is up. Milt May. And he gets a seven and a 78. That's going to be a patient. And a patient 78, you can see, is in the out range, and it is an F8. And uh, Kessinger is going to be the third batter of the inning. The first two were out. He gets an 8 and a 43. 8 on Sammy Stewart is going to be a patient. And um, what was that, a 43? So you can see a 43 is going to be um, against a righty is going to be a, a single. So uh, Kessinger is incredibly three for three on, on the day. That's the first hit given up by Stewart since coming on in relief of an ineffective, for the most part, Steve Stone. Ralph Gar comes up. He gets an 11 and a 38. 11 is a defense, and it's going to be a possible error at third base. Desense is an E4. And um, a 38 on the error uh, for a three. Is that what he is? Desense is a four. Um, it's going to be a one to 34, and that is a 38, so it is going to be an out. Um, and we will see about the double play, possible double play. Or no, we'll pick it for the out. We'll pick it for the out. 
and it is a ground ball plus advance. So the runner does go to second on that, and it is going to be a uh, it's going to be a five to three. And Washington is up, the second hitter in the lineup. And he gets a 6 and a 45. 6 is a tough, and a tough 45 against a righty is going to be a strikeout. And that will be the end of the inning for the White Sox, who did not push a run across. We go to the top of the 7th. Rick Dempsey is up. He is still facing Rich Hinton. Um, Hinton is in his third inning of pitching right now. Dempsey is up. He gets a 7 and a 74. 7 on Hinton's card is a tough. And a 74 in tough, you can see, is going to be in the out range, as you would uh, very well expect. It's an F8. And Dempsey is out. The next batter is Rich Dower, the second baseman. He gets a 7 and an 84. The Orioles are just not getting good rolls here. That is a, uh, an, a tough on Hinton's card, and a 74, you can see, is an out F8. And that brings to the plate Mark Belanger. Belanger getting a 4 and an 11. 4 is a ballpark, and an 11 will be um, in, the, um, in the wheelhouse as much as he has a wheelhouse. And a 78, you can see 78 wheelhouse against a lefty is going to be an out, and it is going to be, in fact, a, an F8. So all three uh, batters that inning for the Orioles flew out to Chet Lemon. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's still 4 nothing. The White Sox with an impressive combined shutout so far here. Uh, between the likes of Barrios, who got injured in the first. Scarberry, who took over and did three and a third of scoreless ball. And now Rich, Rich Hinton. And Chet Lemon is going to be up against Sammy Stewart, who is still out there. Seven and an 84. Seven on Stewart's card is a patient. And an 84, you can see, is going to be an out. And it is a G6. So... Um, Lemon gets out, G, uh, six to three, and that brings Lamar Johnson, the first baseman, up to the plate. He gets a nine, and on 16, nine is a patient, and a 16, probably a walk, and it is. Lamar Johnson getting a walk. Stewart with only the second base runner allowed for him, first walk. And Jim Morrison is up, man aboard, one out. We'll put that there. Eight and a 29. Eight is a patient, and a 29, as you can see against a righty, is going to be a double. And we will pick the card for the double, and it says looping liner to right field, all runners score. So uh, Morrison's up at second with the double and the RBI, knocking Johnson home. And it's looking real doubtful that the Orioles will pull this game out with the way Rich Hinton has been pitching. Um, but yes, a run coming in. Uh, that's the first run allowed by Stewart. George Orta with one out and a man at second. He gets a five and an 83. Five is a tough. And an 83, you can see, is going to be in the out range. And that is a G4 which will move the runner over to third. And that's going to be a four to three. Um, and a runner at third now with two down and prior up. And that's going to be a three and an 81. Three is an in play and an in play 81 you can see is in the out range and it is an F8. Um, the um, White Sox do come up with a run, though, and we go to the top of the eighth, and it is 5 nothing. and Al Bumbry 
will not be facing Rich Hinton. We will be taking him out. Um, so let's see. Pitcher for the White Sox is going to be Ed Farmer. So I'll take a quick look at it. This is the combined card, the one that I use. He did end the year with the White Sox. And um, he is a right-handed uh, pitcher, and that's his card. So Ed Farmer coming on to seal things down here with Al Bumbry up in the top of the eighth for the Orioles. And that is an 8 and an 86. 8 on Farmer's card is a tough. And a tough 86, you can see, is in the out range. And it will be a G4. And he goes 4-3 to three to lead off the 8th inning for the Orioles. Ken Singleton comes up. And I have to push this back again. Again, I'm trying to be mindful of everybody seeing the dice, seeing the cards, seeing everything. Uh, 12 and a 74. 12 on Farmer is a ballpark. 74 will be in the uh, in-play range. That's an in-play, though, 86. And as you can see, that is going to be in the out range, and it is a G6. So he goes 6 to 3. And Pat Kelly is up. And he gets a 9 and a 12. 9 on Farmer's card is a patient, and a 12 is going to be a walk. So Pat Kelly gets a board with a walk after two were out quickly. Um, and that's the first guy that Farmer has allowed on, on board. And A. Murray is up. He gets a 9, the dangerous Eddie Murray. 9 is a patient, but that is an 88. And a patient 88, you can see, is going to be an out, and it is a G6, 6-3. So the Orioles get nothing in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. Milt May is the batter. And uh, Stewart is going to come out. Tim Stoddard. There's Tim Stoddard's card. He is a right-handed pitcher. There are his statistics for uh, 1979. And he will be facing Milt May, the first batter that he will face here in the White Sox 8. And that is going to be an 8 and a 15. 8 is a tough, and a 15, you got to believe, is going to be a strikeout, and it is. So Milt May goes down on strikes. Stoddard with the K. Don Kessinger. Kessinger gets a 10 and a 3. 10 is going to be a tough. And a three is also a strikeout. So Crowl or uh, uh, Stoddard blows away the first two guys, and that brings Ralph Gar to the plate. And that's an eight and a seventy-three. Eight is a tough, and a seventy-three you can see is going to be an out, and it is an F eight. So at least he didn't strike out, but he is out. No runs come across for the White Sox. We go to the top of the ninth. And the um, the Orioles need five runs right here just to keep the game going. Because it is 5-0 White Sox. Terry Crowley is up. Terry Crowley gets a 10 and a 23. 10 on Farmer is a defense. And uh, we will pick the card to see who it goes to. It's going to center field, and it is a possible range in center field, and a 23. The uh, um, Chet Lemon's uh, range is a B, and a B23, you can see, is going to be a base hit. So we will try that. We will pick the card and see what kind of a hit. It is going to be a single. So it's a leadoff single by Crowley. That's a good start. I mean, they still got a long way to go. 
but the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and um, that'll bring to the plate Doug DeSensei. DeSensei though gets a four and an 86. Four is going to be a patient and you can see an 86 ain't going to do anything. It's going to get, get an out and it is a G6. So it's a ground ball, double play eight, and Ed Farmer is an eight. So if it's an eight or less, it's a double play. If it's over eight, it advances the runner, but it um, it is not, and it is a double play. So Doug DeSensei gets, hits into a double play, which gives us two outs, and Rick uh, Dempsey is at the plate. And he gets a 10 and an 8. 10 is a defense. We'll pick the card. It says air at third base, and it probably will be. In fact, it will be an air at third base, and we will see what kind of an air. Um, it is a one base air. So an air is committed by Morrison. And we're going to make a note of that. Error in the ninth. Two down, man aboard. Um, Dempsey on by the um, E5. And Dower is the batter. And he gets a 5 and a 96. 5 is going to be an in play, and a 96, as you might well imagine, is going to be an out. And it is going to be an F7. Dower is retired, and that is the game. The White Sox win it 5 0. The uh, win goes to Scarberry in relief of the injured Barrios, and the loss will be hung on Steve Stone for this. It's been great, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.